This is going to be lesson 33-3, and we're going to take a look at double angle identities. And so we're going to use double angle identities to find trig values. Now here are the double angle identities. Now how we derive them is going to be from our sum and difference identities. So for example, sine of 2 theta, if I looked at that as sine of theta plus theta, because theta plus theta is 2 theta, well, the sum and difference identity for that would be sine of theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta. Well, I can switch places with these, so I get plus sine theta cosine theta. And now I have two of them, so that's going to equal 2 sine theta cosine theta. And this happens to be the double angle identity for sine of 2 theta. Now if we do the same process for cosine and we do the same process for tangent, we're going to get our double angle identities. And so here are the actual list of double angle identities. Now if you notice for cosine, there's three possibilities. Now the main reason is because if we start with this first one, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, well I could use a Pythagorean identity to make them all sine. This is 1 minus sine squared theta or I could use this to change everything into cosines. This is going to be 1 minus cosine squared theta. And so having said that, these uh, different combinations of using the Pythagorean identities allows me to get that version and that version there. All right, so our first example here it says, if sine of a equals negative 4 fifths with a in quadrant 3, let's find the sine of 2a and the cosine of 2a. So looking at this, I do know that this is a double angle identity. This does equal 2 sine a cosine a. But then the question is, what is the sine of a? What is the cosine of a? And so I need to find those. And for me to find those, I have to use the given information here. It says that my reference triangles in quadrant 3 and my sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Now if I do Pythagorean theorem, this is going to be become negative 3 because it's moving in a negative direction. So that means my cosine of a is going to be negative 3 over 5 and my sine of a is going to be negative 4 over 5. So then now I replace sine of a and cosine a. This is going to be 2 times, well the sine of a is negative 4 fifths my cosine of a is negative 3 fifths. And so now multiplying everything together, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 times negative 3, it's going to be a positive 24 over 25. And so that's going to be my answer. My cosine of 2a, same thing, I could use any of the identities there, why not just use the first one? So this will be cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Well, we said cosine is going to be negative 3 fifths squared minus, and we said the sine is going to be negative 4 fifths. And so that gives me 9 over 25 minus 16 over 25, which would be negative 7 over 25. Now remember, what I'm doing is I'm not plugging in this ratio in for a. I'm literally replacing the sine of a with the ratio, cosine of a with the ratio. So the first thing that I did here was I drew the triangle in the quadrant. It's already always going to give you information on where I need to draw my triangle. Then from there, I need to find the different ratios needed from the formula. So I know that I needed to know sine of a and cosine a and sine of a and sorry, cosine of a and sine of a. I needed to know those. And so with my reference triangle, I found what those ratios were going to be. So then I plugged those ratios into the identity or into the formula, so I plugged it in, plugged it in, and I then simplified it. So this simplified into that, this simplified into that. Let's look at another one. So if I have tangent A equals 5 twelfths with A in quadrant 1, let's find the sine of 2A and the cosine of 2A. So first step, I need to draw the triangle in the quick quadrant and label. So I need to find, see it says in quadrant 1 
and we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that means if I use the Pythagorean theorem, this would become 13. And so for the sine of 2a, we know that that's 2 sine a cosine a. So I need to know what my sine of a is, because I need to know the ratios needed for the formula, which is going to be 5 over 13. And the cosine of a, that's going to be 12 over 13. So now plugging those in, this is going to be 2 times sine of a, which is going to be 5 over 13 times the cosine of a, which is going to be 12 over 13. And so multiplying everything together, this is going to give me, see, 10, 120 over 169. And so to plug them in, I then simplified. Same thing here, I already drew the triangle for the next one. So finding the ratios needed for the formula, I know that the cosine of 2a uh, let's do one, uh, 2 cosine squared a minus 1. Why not? So then it's 2 times, we said this is 12 over 13 squared. And so this is going to become 2 times, and this is going to be 144 over 169. This is going to be minus, and I'll say 169 over 169. So this will be 288 over 169 minus 169 over 169. So we need to subtract those. 911. And so this is going to be 119 over 169. That's going to be my answer. So just looking at one more. Let's say if I said the sine of 2 theta is negative 2 fifths and theta is now between negative pi halves and zero. So find sine of two theta. Well, I know that it equals two sine theta cosine theta. And because it's between negative pi halves and zero, this is negative pi halves right here, and this is zero. And so I know that's gonna be in quadrant four. So label every, everything here, it's gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. And so using the Pythagorean theorem, I'd have to take the square root of 25 minus the square root of 4. Subtract those. They're all under the same square root, and that's how I get the square root of 21. And so now I can say that my, that's going to be 2, but my sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, and my cosine of theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Now multiplying all that together, you're going to get negative 4 root 21 over 25. Now this does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.